Today we're gonna to be checking out the Echo Pop, a brand new smart speaker from Amazon. Thanks to Amazon for providing this for today's video. Let's get started. Now the Echo Pop comes in four different colors. You have lavender blue, charcoal, glacier white, and midnight teal, which is this model right now. So this is a new design similar to that of the Echo Dot. One interesting thing is it has a slightly bigger speaker than the Echo Dot. Let's go ahead and check out the back here. So it has Alexa, just like you're used to on your other Amazon Echo devices. And then here you have Bluetooth, hands-free calling with Alexa. You have a microphone on off button and it has in-app privacy control so you can adjust some of those things. Now, a lot of people worry about Amazon taking your information. Well, as long as you have a solid password and you never share your information with anybody, you won't have any problems with that. Now here, let's go ahead and get it unboxed. And right there is the Echo Pop. That is a cool looking color. And here at the top, it just says we need to download the Amazon Alexa app and then plug it in. And down here you have the power cord as well as a little instruction sheet and information. So this little paper is gonna help you get started. Here it has a microphone on off button at the top. Right there, we have the volume up and down. There is a light bar indicating when it is listening to you. And then here you have a tap to snooze alarm. Oh, that's really nice. Then here on the back, you have the power port. So you're just going to plug it in there. And this does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack like you see on the Echo Dots. And then here it's showing some other things about what the different colors mean. So blue is Alexa is listening. Red, the microphone is off. Orange, your device is in setup mode. Purple, your device is on do not disturb mode, so it's not going to announce anything. Then you have yellow, which means you have a new notification, maybe a Amazon package has arrived or something like that. And then when it's green, you have an incoming call and you can answer it by voice. And then you can turn on and off the microphone for privacy controls. You can manage your voice history. So if you said something and you wanna delete that information, you can say, Alexa, delete what I said or Alexa delete everything I've said. Now, one thing you'll notice about my videos is whenever I'm talking to the voice assistant, you won't actually hear the name. So there's different names you can call it, but I will mute that every time I say it so that when you're watching at home, it won't trigger your device nearby. So hopefully that is helpful to you. And then here are some other things you can say, like play today's hits, tell me a joke, volume up, set an alarm at 7 a.m., reorder paper towels, set a five minute timer, What's the weather today? Play the news, call mom, announce dinner is ready. That will broadcast it to all your other Echo devices you have around your home. How do you spell beautiful? What time is it? Turn off the lamp, turn on the fan, and it can control all your different compatible Amazon Alexa smart home devices, which is pretty cool. So that is the setup guide. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in. And while that is turning on, here you can see the difference between the Echo Dot as well as the Echo Pop. There at the top, there is no more action button on the Pop. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. And there it had a beautiful startup sound. So there on the top, you can see some of the microphones that will listen to the wake word. And it kind of looks like it, they just cut a uh, echo dot in half and added a little bit bigger speaker, but I really like the look of this color. It really matches my shirt, so perfect. So there you go, that is the difference. Now, of course, there's all kinds of different echo dots with different designs and different things. And so this has a great option, but if you're looking for just a simple speaker, this can be added pretty much anywhere. Look how small this is. You can mount this on a wall with different mounts or other things. So good looking speaker. Let's head to the Alexa app to get it set up. Here we're going to select devices. And then here at the top we have plus and we're going to add a new device. So there it says add device. And here we're gonna add an Amazon Echo. And here we have all the different Echo devices. So we have an Echo Pop here. Make sure it's plugged in and displaying orange. So here you can see the light bar is ready to go. And it's still called it an Echo Dot, but it is an Echo Pop. And previously I've already connected different Echo devices. So it knows my Wi-Fi password 
and it already the added echo that. Is ready. And now the echo is ready. Excellent. So things to know, features three buttons. So here we can press the volume up. There you'll see the light bar move. And then here you can do volume down. And I like how that's oriented, that the lower volume is this way. And then when I go up, it's showing that the volume is going higher. That's great. Then you have the mute button. So when I push the mute button at the top, now it shows a red indicator that it can't listen to me. No matter what I say, it will not be able to interact with me. So we're gonna turn that off so I can use voice commands. And here to snooze an alarm, tap the top once. This only works when your microphone isn't muted. So if the mute is on, you can't do that, but you unmute it and then you can tap just like that to snooze an alarm, which is great. So let's continue. Next, it's going to ask us what language we'd like to use. So here we are going to use English, but you do have a lot of other languages available that you can use. Next, we're gonna choose where this is going to go. So if you have other smart devices, you would wanna put it in the same room as those other smart devices. So let's go ahead and add a new room for this. So down here at the bottom, we have a custom room. So we're gonna call this home office. Okay, it is in the home office. Now it's asking where the echo is located so that it can give proper weather information and directions and other things like that. So you can enter a new address if you need to. And then here is a feature called Amazon Sidewalk. So Amazon has created this kind of network with all of their different Amazon devices that can help certain devices work when the Wi-Fi is down or other things. So if everyone's using this, it's great. Uh, at, so far, I haven't enabled it on any of my devices, but you can always go in and enable that later. But it might help devices like a Ring doorbell that's at the edge of your Wi-Fi router. It might help them connect better. So it's up to you whether you turn this on or not. Right now, I'm just going to select disable. Now that leads me to another cool feature that this has is it can help extend an Eero Wi-Fi mesh network. So if you have Eero devices in your home as your Wi-Fi, when you set this up, it can then interact as a mesh network to that and extend a thousand feet of coverage for your Wi-Fi network. So adding a few of these around your house would increase that strength of your Eero Wi-Fi network. So there are certain Eero devices that work for that and you do need to have Eero connected to Alexa for that to be enabled. All right, it's ready, let's go. Nice work. I have a few top things for you to try on your new Echo. Let's get started. You can broadcast a voice announcement to all of your devices. Mm. Try saying, announce dinner is ready. Announce dinner is ready. Announcing. Dinner is you ready. You can also send announcements Ooh. through the mobile app in the communicate tab. Here's the next thing I wanna show you. I can help you with your day-to-day -day calculations and countdowns. Just try asking, what's 25% of 3,500? What's 25% of 5,300? 25% 25 of 5,300 is 1,325. Check back in any time with day-to-day -day questions. I'll be happy to help. Let's try something fun. With routines, it's easy to complete multiple actions with one command. I have a routine called wake up, where I tell you the time and weather when you dismiss your morning alarm. Hmm. Do you want me to enable that routine? No. Okay, done. The routine will start when you dismiss your morning alarm. You can customize it and also create new routines in the routines section of your mobile app. That's it for now. Let's celebrate with a dance party. To play music on all your devices at the same time with the Everywhere group, just tell me to play music everywhere. So that was a fun introduction where it talked about things I could do, then it was ready for my response and I could ask them. So I like the broadcast where it sent a message not only to the device you asked it, but my other Echo devices that I have here in the home. Now, the cool thing is with that uh, snooze alarm, whenever you snooze the alarm, it can then trigger a routine. So it could automatically turn on lights, play music or something like that. You could set that up in the routines that we'll go through in a little bit. So great, our device is now ready to work. I can now ask it anything I want. So it looks like this is doing an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all the settings are set correctly. So to do that, we're gonna head into the devices tab here. And then we're gonna tap on Echo and Alexa. And then scrolling down, 
here we have Brett's echo pop. All right, so right here, we have the option to adjust the volume. So we can do it on the device, or if you're in another room or across the room, you can come in here and adjust the volume, which is great. Next, we have the option to drop in. So drop in, we use all the time. If I'm away from home and I wanna see what my kids are doing in the room they're in, I can use the drop in function and quickly create an intercom call with them so that I can hear them and they don't have to touch the device to interact. So here, if I tap drop in. So here, when I'm away from home, I can talk through. And if they were to talk in the room, I would hear them through my phone. Really fun. And there at the top, we saw the light bar was green, indicating we were on a call. Next, we have off, which is do not disturb. So if you don't want announcements and certain things to come through, during the evening, you can turn on the do not disturb. You can set a schedule for that as well in the app. Next, you can connect a Bluetooth device. So if you have a bigger Bluetooth speaker that you want to pair this with, you are able to do that through the Bluetooth connections. And then here, let's go ahead and set an alarm or timer. So here I have all these other alarms that I've set. So we're gonna add an alarm. And here we're gonna choose the device. So here we have Brett's Echo Pop. And then here you have the option to repeat it every day. Let's go ahead and say we're gonna do it today. And then what sound do we want? So here we have all kinds of different tones that we can choose for this. So there's all kinds of fun, different. Okay, take it down a notch, Murray. We don't want to alarm me. So you can go through and test out all of these different ones. So it looks like these ones are available for everybody. And then there are some premium ones that are available. So if you wanted to purchase some, you can do that as well. Hello. Hello. So if you need the minions to wake you up, you could purchase that there. So here, let's go ahead and choose porch light. It's a nice tone there. Okay, so we're gonna go back and then here we can choose what lights are going to turn on when we wake up. So we can go through, here's all the different lights that I have in my room. So I have lights that I could turn on or off. So let's go ahead and choose flood one and we could turn that on. And then here you have wake up routine, tells the time and weather after the alarm. So that's great, you could do that. Then here we have the time that we can set, 1.55 and save. So now we have scheduled that and we can come in here and adjust that at any time if we want to change the schedule. You can also create an alarm by voice just by asking it to set a daily alarm, a weekend alarm, or even a weekday alarm so that it would then do that every day at a certain time of day. So it's really great that you have the app to do that or you can do that right from the Echo Pop. So let's wait for that alarm. So here's the alarm. You can see it adjusted my light there in the back. If I wanna snooze the alarm, I just simply tap it and it turned off the alarm. And if I want to adjust my light back to where it was, set flood one to blue. And there we go, we got the light back. And Amazon Echo devices are really the fastest that I have in changing my different smart devices. They just work so great. Back on the Echo Pop settings, we can tap status to go into more settings, or you do have the settings button up here. So there we could adjust the name. Here we have audio settings. We, we want to increase bass, mid-range levels, or treble. We can do that here. Next, here is where we can go through the configuration of setting up a new Bluetooth device. Here we have the Wi-Fi network we could change. Next, we have connected speakers. So right now it's using the built-in speaker as the default speaker. If you had a connected speaker over Bluetooth, you could set that as the default speaker. And then here you have some other options about Wi-Fi speakers. So you could select a preferred speaker. Maybe you have other speakers in your home and whenever you use this, you want it to play on all those speakers. So you could come in here and then choose what speakers you want to be the default speaker. And then here you have the option to have Alexa choose what speaker it's going to play when I ask the device in the home office. We're just gonna keep it the built-in speaker. Here you can pair this with other Echo Pops or an Echo subwoofer. 
So in here, it's showing all of my compatible devices. And when you do a pair, they need to be the same speaker. So if I tap on my Echo Pop, I would need a second Echo Pop to pair them as a group. And then if I had a subwoofer, I could add that. Um, here you can see whenever I tap some of these, all the rest change because none of them are the same style of speaker. So I've really liked using that. You can also use Echo Pops with a Fire TV and create a group and have a sound system from your Fire TV, which is kind of cool. Then here we have the Pair Alexa gadget. So there are little remotes or other things you could do to connect to this, to control it and play with it. So I don't have any of those here by me now. Next, we have some general information. So here we have the LED display. So if we want to adjust the brightness on the light bar, let's see. So right there, you can see that it's at zero on the red. If I turn that up to 30%, 50%, 100%. So whenever you interact with Alexa, if it's too much, you could turn that down. So that's cool. I haven't seen that on other devices. That might be new. Here we have the tap gesture. So if you don't want the tap to snooze or anything, you can come in here and turn that off. But I like that, we'll keep it on. Next we have sounds. So here we can adjust the main sound. Here we can have it gradually increase alarm volume so it slowly gets louder and louder. Here we can adjust the alarm notification. And then here we have other notifications. So if I get an Amazon package alert, it could create a notification or we can choose to have there be no notification sound. Here you have incoming ringer on. And then sometimes if maybe this is in the corner and you can't really see if the light bar is listening to you, you could turn on the request sound at the start of a request. So now when I say, it makes that noise letting me know that it heard me. But when I turn that off, Alexa. it just shows the light bar indicating that it is listening to me. You can also have that for the end of the request so you can hear when it stops listening to you if you want. Then here you have selected sound detection. So with the Alexa Guard subscription, you could use this device to listen for the alarm going off and then it could notify you on your Alexa app but uh, that's something that is a subscription service you need to pay for. Next, we have Amazon Kids. So if you are using this in a kid's room, Amazon Kids is a great way to use an Echo device because then it will play kid-friendly music and other stories and different things that your kids can access. So you can subscribe to that if you wanna use that service, something that we've used a lot and I really like how that works. And if you don't wanna use it anymore, you can come in here and turn that off and adjust the Amazon Kids settings. Scrolling down, here we have the option to enable communication. So here you can turn on and off the communication. So communication allows you to have the announcements come in as well as drop in or even calling others. So let's go ahead and do a call. Alexa, call dad. Calling Randy Bristow's Alexa devices from Brett. Hello, how are you doing? Fine. Am I supposed to see you? You're not supposed to see me. This is just a voice call from my new Echo Pop. Oh, a uh, pop like it's about the size of a popcorn? Do you, uh, <laughs> it's actually much bigger than a size of a popcorn. It could oh. be, a, yeah, it's like a, the width of a popcorn bag. I don't know. <laughs> Don't you know a don't you know a song about pop, a lollipop? Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop. Yep. There you go. That's one the of song. my favorite. So did you answer on your phone? I did. You did. So it called but, all your Alexas and your phone. Yes, I heard it on Alexa, and I thought it's coming to my phone too, and I thought, let's see, are you? trying to video call me on Alexa, but I was too lazy to go over there to check it out. <laughs> but I picked up my phone and I, it says Brett Bristow on my phone and I heard you. So I figured it's working. It is working. That's how it should work. So I can call you wherever you are. Amazing. Really? Boy, I guess I better watch where I go. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's very true. And how do I sound? Do I sound like uh, I'm calling you on any other thing? Oh yeah, you sound better. I sound better. I'm right close. Uh, to, I'm close to it, so that's probably why. You're very, you're very loud and clear. Okay, good to hear. I got a new device you got. Hi, Brett. Hi, hi, mom. Fun times, new stuff. New stuff every day. Okay, well, thanks so much for answering my call. You're welcome. I'm glad it worked. Okay, you have a great day and weekend. Call me anytime. Okay, will do. Bye. Bye. Alexa, hang up. So there you go, a phone call is just as simple as using your voice. Now you do need to link your contacts in the communication section, but once I have done that, I can now call any of my contacts at any time. If they have the Alexa app, it will allow them to call through their phone or their Amazon devices. So that call was really great. Sound quality is pretty awesome on here and I'm impressed by the amount of bass that can come through here. Now, if you go into the communicate tab, this is where you can call, drop in, announce, and do all kinds of things with your other Echo devices. If you do this for the first time, you may want to link your different contacts by going up here to the contact section. And then here it's showing me all my different contacts, but in the menu, you have the option to add contacts, create groups, and import contacts right there. And here back on this page, you can see different little conversations you've had. So you could message through the Echo Pop and many other things. So it's really great the amount of ways you can communicate on the Echo Pop. Now here under the middle, you have the play. So if you have Amazon Music, you can quickly play songs directly to your Echo Pop just by tapping on the song and playing, and then it will play through here. Next, we have Do Not Disturb. So here we have the just turn on do not disturb or this is where we can do that schedule where we don't want it to go off at 9 p.m. at night to 8 in the morning. We can come in here and adjust that. Next, you have the option to adjust your device location. You can adjust the time zone. Then here we have the wake word. So you can use different wake words for your devices. You can use Alexa, Amazon, computer, oh. Amazon, computer, Echo, or Ziggy, which is pretty cool. And then here you can turn on wake words so you can speak to other personalities. So here you can turn on a Hey Santa wake word for the next couple of days. When this comes out, you won't be able to do that, sorry. So let's go ahead, change it to Ziggy just for fun. All right, it is changing. Ziggy, what's the weather today? Right now in Orem, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. That was some pretty cool weather sound effects. So there you go, you can adjust it and I can quickly adjust it back. You can only have one wake word on at a time. Down here we have a different voice that you can choose. So now you have other voices. So you can also change the speaking rate. So right now it's American the one. US flag was designed by a 17 year old. We can do As two. There's an official league for rock, paper, scissors. Australian. Koalas have fingerprints and they're very similar to a. The Kiwi is the only bird in the world with nostrils on the tip of its beak. I hear there are more chickens in England than there are people. Around 100 million cups of tea are enjoyed in the UK every day. Moose, goose, toonie, loony. I may not speak all 22 Indian languages yet, but my... More than 600 movies are released each year in India. How's that for variety? The current U.S. flag was designed by a 17-year-old as a part of a school project. Wow. The current U.S. flag was designed by a 17-year-old as a part of a school project. Wow. So there you go. You can adjust all of those different voices. I think that's about... 10 voices, and then you can increase or decrease the speaking rate. The faster or fastest rate is a little bit too quick and the slowest a little too slow for me. So it's great that you can go in there and adjust those. Here we have follow-up mode. So follow-up mode allows you to ask a question and then it will continue listening and you're able to ask another question. So let's turn that on, show you how that works. Alexa, Add tacos to the shopping list. I've added tacos to your shopping list. Oh, that's much faster. Add corn dogs to the shopping list. You already have corn dogs on your shopping list. Add Oreos to the shopping list. I've added Oreos to your shopping list. 
and there you go, I'm able to keep listening and then I can stop it listening by just waiting or I can say, thank you. And then it will stop listening. So that's a pretty useful feature. If you have a bunch of people around talking, it kind of gets a little confused so it might hear the wrong thing. So you can come in here and turn that on or off. I think I'm gonna change the speaking rate back to The current US right flag here. was designed by a so then we have adaptive listening. So adaptive listening is going to listen a little slower. So meaning it will listen to you if you are like me and sometimes it's hard for you to remember what you're actually going to say and it won't stop listening before you're done speaking. Then here we have the language so we can adjust the language there. Here we can adjust the measurements. So right now it's set for Fahrenheit. You could choose Celsius and it's set for miles or you could choose kilometers. And then here we have the account it's registered to and the about with a bit more information. So those are all the settings that you have for your Echo Pop. Now let's go ahead and show you the best way to create a room with other smart devices in it. So if I go over here to devices, you're going to see a bunch of different devices or no devices depending on what you've added to your smart home. So under here we have groups. So Groups are like different rooms or you can have different sections of your home as a group. So right here we have the home office. So I'm gonna tap on the home office and there it currently has just the Echo Pop speaker. So now I'm going to tap edit and then it's going to take me to a list of all the different devices that I've already linked to my home. So now I'm gonna go through and find some of the other smart devices that I have here in the room. So I have flood one and flood two. Okay, so I can go through and search the rest of these. There's a lot of them, but we're gonna choose flood one and flood two, and then tap save. So now once I've done that, it recognizes that those devices are a part of the room that this is in. So instead of saying, turn on flood one and flood two, all I have to do is say, turn off the lights or turn on the lights or set the lights to whatever brightness. So Alexa, turn off the lights. <laughs> So now, ooh, some Mario sounds. So now it's going to turn off just the lights that I have in this room. Alexa, turn on the lights. <laughs> Those Mario sounds are so cool. So then it turned the lights on back there and everything works great. Alexa, set the lights to 10% brightness. Alexa, set the lights to 80% brightness. And so without having to worry about it adjusting all the different lights in the room, it is able to quickly do that when they are part of the room group. And that just works so great. Then here in the app, we also have the option to quickly turn on and off those lights. Not as many sound effects here, but I do have the option here to go and adjust the color. If I want to, you can choose from all those preset colors. Or here I can turn the lights off like that and turn the lights on like that. So now let's go ahead and play some music so we can hear how this sounds. And I'm going to do that through Bluetooth. So I'm gonna set this up as a Bluetooth speaker from my phone. So I'm gonna do that by tapping on the Echo Pop. Here I'm going to connect a device. So now it is searching for a device that could be paired. So I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth settings of my phone. And here I see the Echo Dot, which is the Echo Pop. We're gonna tap pair. Now connected to Bluetooth. If we go back into the Amazon Alexa app, here it's just waiting, but we already know it is paired and there it's showing it's connected to the Z Fold 4. Alexa, pair Bluetooth. Now connected to Bluetooth. So if it doesn't work, you can just use the Alexa connect to Bluetooth command. Sounds pretty good. Sounds really nice. So we can turn it up from the phone. Then we can turn it up from the Echo Pop. And turn it down from here as well. So now I've shown you all the different settings you can adjust for the Echo Pop. I've shown you how to control your smart home. I've shown you how to connect a Bluetooth speaker. Let's go ahead and show you how to connect other new smart home devices. So down here at the bottom, if you tap more, then you're gonna go to skills and games. 
So under skills, you would connect through other smart home devices that you have. So here I've already set up different Lutron products or Philips Hue. So I just need to search for that product that I've already set up. Here I found Lutron and then I would need to sign into my account and it will then add all of those devices to my Amazon app. And then I can go ahead and add those to control those from my Echo Pop. So a lot of things there. If we go back here under the more, you also have all of this other information you can adjust. You can adjust your list and notes. You can adjust your routines, blueprints, workouts, reminders, alarms, timers, skills, all kinds of things you can do under here. So then if we do go to skills and games, this is where we can find all kinds of devices we can link to, or we can actually find other games that we can play right from our Echo Pop. So here we can scroll down and quickly find different things that we can do. Here are some recommended skills. Here are some editor picks. So one of my favorite games is Akinator. So let's go ahead and play that. Alexa, play Akinator. I can read your mind. Think of a character. I will try to guess it. Are you ready? Yes. Does your character really exist? No. Is your character from a Japanese anime? Yes. I see. Does your character often wear a hat? Yes. Does your character have a mustache? Yes. Does your character appear in the Mario games? Yes. I guess that you are thinking of Mario. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. I guessed right. Do you want to play again? No. So there you go. It was able to figure out exactly what I was thinking of. Pretty cool game. And there are tons of other games. It was asking me to play another game right after that. So that's one of the great parts about the Amazon Echo devices is they have just so many different things that they can do because of that large library of games and connected devices. And so there you go. That is a quick introduction on getting set up with your Echo Pop, some of the things it can do and all the different settings that it has. If you have any further questions about the Echo Pop, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to check out some of my other videos about Echo Show devices, you can check those out over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.